So this is my little girl cat. She loves getting shaved. And uh, the other day when I gave her a little bear cut, or a little lion cut actually, uh, I noticed she had ringworm. So I don't know if she's gonna let me show you or not, but let's see if I can, if I can show you what it looks like. She started going bald right here, you can see. I don't know, she's not gonna wanna do this. But I think you might've seen it real fast. Come here, bud. Up oh, there you go. That little red dot is ringworm. Thank you. And uh, so I'm not big on meds, and I know a lot about ringworm from having had it and getting it from cats. And uh, I can't take the meds for the antifungals because they're too hard on my liver. So I use GSE. Um, and I dilute it in distilled water and I just put it in a little dropper bottle. This is a one ounce dropper bottle. I fill it with distilled water. I add about six or seven drops of GSE and I apply it topically um, between two and four times a day. It gives her relief and she doesn't mind it. It's a lot better than trying to get a pill down her throat. And I just drop the, I saturate half of a cotton swab like this. And I just put it on there and I just do it topically. You might have to do a little bit less if um, it's in an area where they can lick it off because it might upset their stomachs. Um, if you wanna know what this is like, put a drop in a glass of water and you can get a taste of it. This is human grade grapefruit seed extract. And I use the one by Nutribiotic. And you just keep doing it and doing it and doing it until the hair begins to grow back. And it'll take about six to eight weeks. And as a last note, uh, I am not a veterinarian. Uh, please seek veterinarian health. This is not advice for your animal. It's just a suggestion. And it's just me sharing what I do myself for my cats if they get ringworm. Thanks.